Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 17 Franchise Mode with your Los Angeles Kings. Yes, we are back here again after a disappointing Western Conference final sweep to the Winnipeg Jets, who then lost in the final to the Stanley Cup champion Montreal Canadiens. Yes, so we made the conference finals after a, a solid trade for Wingles and Braun last season, but it just wasn't meant to be, folks. It was not meant to be. So, we're going to go into the draft. We don't have a first round pick and we don't have a second round pick. So, we aren't really going to get too much. We've got a lot of prospects already in the pipeline, I think. I don't think it's that bad. We'll pick up some... some. Uh, well, we'll try and pick up some dangerous late bloomers, you know. See if we can get those guys going. Then we need to take a look at our roster and see what we can get going there. Because we're going to need to sign people back and we're right up against the cap. And if some people are going to want... Uh, some people are going to want pay upgrades which is not gonna help us out very much at all so uh, we're in the third round third or fourth round center playmaker center sniper i wouldn't mind a center sniper or a uh, seventh defense nah uh center sniper yeah we'll go for the center sniper then high bottom six forward a medium top nine not too bad not too bad at all okay um so let's have a look shall we round four yeah i'm not expecting to have many picks at all here uh, is that Andre Pallat? <laughs> it's Aldrich Pallat. Okay. Uh, with this one, we're in the fourth or fifth round, aren't we? So if we go for uh, Belafol, well, that's the fourth round, isn't it? Medium to... Oh, shit. Medium top six defenseman. Hang on a sec. I've got another pick. Oh, did I get back-to-back -back picks? Hang on a minute. I'm so confused. We'll go for Thorinson then. High bottom six forward is a low top nine forward. Okay. So we had two straight picks in the fourth round. Who did we get a pick from then? Must have been Ottawa or something. No, it was uh, Carolina. Yes, it was, it was Carolina's fourth round pick. Yep, I remember now. Go for this right winger. He's a low top nine forward. No problem. Could do with another... Oh, we could do with some goalies. But yeah, I, I've looked at the contracts and there are some guys that need a, a, they need a payday. Especially Gothia. I'm hoping he can grow this season as well. If we go for this seventh defenseman. High seventh defenseman, low top six defenseman. I'll take it. Not too bad at all. So, let's have a look here, shall we? That should... Oh, hang on a sec. Didn't I just pick that? Or was that round six? Oh, right, my bad. I thought I'd already picked this one. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll go with you then, Stepniak. AHL top six. Low bottom six forward, okay. So we had nobody that is projected to go in the AHL. That's pretty decent, actually. I'm quite happy with that. So, Foss, Buffet, Thorinson, Goalie. I love how his name is Goalie. I if only he was a Goalie. McAllister and Stepniak. <laughs> Right, so we're fine at the moment. Um, right, resign phase. Don't know how much cap space we've got. We're about to find out in a minute. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Uh, we've got seven skaters to become restricted free agents, and we've also got some UFAs. How much cap space do we have? Probably not very much at all. Sixteen million dollars. Okay, sixteen million dollars is quite a nice amount of money to sign some players. However, the only issue is that we've got a problem in the sense that we need to sign these guys. So, Coolerman, I'm thinking, might be able to come up next season and play the fourth line centre position. I'd like to have Spalling back. Depends how much he wants. How much does he want? Okay. Wow. Perfect. Coolerman, have that contract then. No, not Coolerman. Spalling. Spalling, you can have that contract. You're 82. Overall, at 31 years old, I'm more than willing to give you that contract. That is a team-friendly contract. Thank you, Nick Spalling. That's why I want to have you back on the roster. Tanner Pearson needs a contract. Kemp needs a contract. Larson needs a contract, but he's not getting one. Don't want to give a contract to Larson. I don't think he needs one. So, uh, Pearson, how much does he want? He wants $4 million for two years. Ugh. We can get that down by 15%, which would be cool. So, 4.325 divided by 100 times 85 is 3.67. So, we go 3.7 million for Tanner Pearson. Nice. Kemp deserves a contract. He wants a two-way contract at that. Lovely. Larson, nope. Then we have Gauthier. Gauthier definitely needs a contract. He wants a $5 million contract for four years. Whew. 4.975 divided by 100 times 85. 4.22. So if we go 4.30, uh, just to make sure we get it. So that's four years of $4.3 million. Damn. Tommy Wingles, how much does he want? He wants $2.5 million for one year. Okay, that's that's not too bad. 2.575 divided by 100 times 85. 
2.1, so we got 2.2 million for you. Nice, 2.2 million dollars for one year. Carl Clifford will get a contract. He wants 2 million though. Ooh. How much does Trevor Lewis want then? Trevor Lewis, ah, Trevor Lewis will do a, uh, do a contract for that. So we'll keep him instead of Carl Clifford. Spencer Watson needs a contract. We'll do that for him then. Wonderful. And then we've got some UFAs down here, which we don't need. Defenseman. Now, this is where the money's going to be going. Jake Muzzin, he wants $5.9 million. So, 5.9 divided by 100 times 85. Get that down to just over 5 million. Which is brilliant. So, we go 5.50. We should have enough to sign everybody, I think, which is awesome. We kind of got out of those salary cap woes. And then Justin Braun wants a two-year contract, 4.9. Okay. I can do that for about 4.2. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. And then Cernic. Yep. We shall sign you to a two way and uh, a two year contract. Uh, Schmidt. 79 28. Sure, you can play uh, in the AHL for us. Um, 75 at 21. Sure. I'll give you a contract then, my friend. 73 at 24. Now nah, leave you off. 69 at 22. No, thank you. 64 21. Now. Nah. And then we've got Hutchinson, which I will sign as a. Um, AHL goalie and find a better backup and McCollum. Nah, we don't, we don't need McCollum. We can find a uh, goaltender prospect. So, if we take a look at this roster, centres, absolutely fine. I have no problem with the centres. Left wingers, we have 85, 84, 83, 80. So, I'm hoping some of them can grow this year. Might have to go look for a left winger. Right wingers, 87, hoping Gauthier grows from an 84. 83, uh, 81. And we've got Skivior at an 80. So, hopefully those guys can grow as well. Defenseman, 94, 88, 87, 86, 84, 84. Hopefully got some of these. Like One of these two might be ready to play next year, which would be great. Because uh, Antropov, he was a like first round pick in 2018 for us. So hopefully he'll grow. And then goaltenders, we've got Jonathan Quick. We need to find somebody to replace Jonathan Quick soon. So we've got $2 million of retained salary for one more year, I believe. So we'll get those $2 million back soon. So let's see who decides to sign with us then. Hopefully most of them will, because we made it to the Commerce Finals. Uh, no longer have the cap uh, the cap space. So Pearson's back. Lewis isn't. Muzzin's back. Wingle's at fuck. Braun's back. Schmidt, Kemp, Cernick. Gauthier's back. That's good. Spalling's on. Hang on a minute. How come I don't have the cap space? That's $16 million. Where is all my salary cap gone then? I didn't think I hit $16 million with that. So I can't sign Spalling. Right. Uh, I can't sign Kemp. Well, I can, I can uh, qualify him as an RFA, which would be good. Uh, so, can't sign him. Uh, can't sign Wingles. I don't understand why I can't sign Wingles, though. Or Trevor Lewis. That doesn't make any sense to me. Hang on. Wh 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 where's all my salary cap space gone? Has it gone in my defence? Ah, it's gone in my defence, probably. Because Muzzin and Broad make up $9 million themselves. Right. Uh, and I haven't signed... I... <sighs> So, now I need to look at the people making the most money on this team that could probably do without being on the team anymore. Uh, well, all of these guys are quite useful. Fabry. Fabry's at an 85, which isn't very helpful at all. Uh, Gauthier. Uh, McNabb. Pier uh, but all these guys are quite important to the lineup. That's the problem. So, if we take a look at this, we haven't got any cap space at all, which sucks ass. So, centres were set. No problem. Left wingers, we've got these three, and hopefully Kemp will uh, grow a little bit more, so that should be fine. He's a RFA. Uh, right wingers, we've got Toffoli Gauthier. We could really do with having Wingles back. We've got Skeviel, but we need somebody else there. That's the problem. We might have to use one of these other left wingers then. We might have to we might have to bring back somebody else. I don't know. Uh, defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're fine on defense. We're absolutely no problem there. No problem whatsoever. The goaltenders, we've got Jonathan Quick. We can't even sign a backup goalie. What is going on? How have we only got that much salary cap space? I don't get it. Where where has all our salary cap gone? I mean, we had 16 million. I signed a couple of guys back. We should we should still have enough money to sign people. Oh my. You know what? I might have to try and trade Kopitar. Because he's the one that's carrying quite a lot of salary cap. So if we sim to free agency. If we can find a guy a similar level as Kopitar, but for cheaper, we're going to have to make that trade, I think. So we're sim to the free agency. Let's have a look. So we're looking for centers on the team. I will try and sign some of these guys. I want to sign Wingles back and everything. 
So, yeah, we're right up against the cap. If we go centers, because the person that's making the most money out of everybody by far is Anze Kopitar. Anze Kopitar is making at least two and a half million more than the next lowest player. So, Kopitar is going to have to be there. Who wants Anze Kopitar? The uh, Columbus Blue Jackets want Kopitar, but they haven't got a lot of cap space. Right. The Colorado Avalanche. They've got Duchesne, and they've got... Oh, they've got McKinnon. 90 at 24. Ooh. So, that's a very close trade already. So, it, we'd, look, look how much salary cap we'd be saving. And we'd have our first line center still. He's 24 years old. He can still grow as well. So, Kopitar and McKinnon might go quite nicely. But we'd have to throw in a pick or something. Probably have to throw in a second from this year. Uh, what have we got for this year? We've got a second. Yeah, we've got a second. We could throw in a second for this year as well. So, if we went for Anze Kopitar and, our, uh, and a... Second pick from this year for Nathan McKinnon. Let, let's just have a look at the other centers on their lineup. So, the centers that they've got, they have McKinnon and Duchesne. Duchesne is 89 at 29, but I'd rather have a 90 overall, and he's still got space to grow. So, we're going to try that. Kopitar and a second pick, uh, second round pick in 2021 for Nathan McKinnon. Will that go through? There you go. I'm sorry, Anze Kopitar. Thank you for everything you've done here, but I, 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 can't, I can't sign you back. We're right up against the cap. Or we were right up against the cap. And we need to sign some more players back. And plus, uh, the contract that McKinnon's on is on it for another three years. So, uh, we wanted to look at uh, Tommy Wingles, didn't we? Uh, right, so we can get him for $3 million, right? Florida are interested. Yeah, so if we get him for one year for $3 million, a lot more than he wanted before. We need to look at goalies as well, don't we? So, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the goalie situation. Hopefully, there's somebody out there. Lethanen's there. We could get him... Hmm, uh, Mazanic. Oh wow, there are no backup goalies whatsoever. Uh, if we go, if we go for Mazanic, then uh, we'll try and sign him to that contract. He's a fringe starter. Sign Hodgeberg as well. He's got a couple more years to grow. Uh, twenty-five. Nope. Uh, high AHL starter. Now you're right. Low fringe starter. Oh, are these the best ones they got? Oh my god. Uh, and who so? Right, so we'll sign those guys up. So, we've signed up those guys. We've got about $4 million worth of cap space. We're spending most of that on... Uh, we're spending most of that on Tommy Wingles, by the looks of it. So, we go overalls again. That's what we want to look at. So, Roman Yossi, Johansson, Smith, uh, OC. Uh, was, yeah, we want right winger in Tommy Wingles back. Was there anybody else that left... Uh, Nick Spalling. That's it. Should be able to sign Nick Spalling back to a $1 million contract for two years. Right, so we'll, we'll try those two guys. Th those were the two sort of main guys that we wanted to bring back, weren't they? So if we advance a day here, uh, advance a couple more days, see where people sign. I'm hoping uh, Wingles signs back with us. Right, Mazanica signed. Wingles has gone to Florida. Okay. Spalling's back, though, so that's cool. Right, so we could do with another... We could do with another uh, depth right winger, then. Uh, that You're not depth right wingers. <laughs> Craig Smith and TJ Oshie, not very helpful. Uh, Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner is an 83 overall. Why on earth is he an 83 overall? He must not be very happy where he's playing. That could be a fucking steal. I might actually go for Jeff Skinner there. He's 83 at 28 years old. I don't have enough money for him though. Let's try and give the money that we've got for him. Because our defensive core is fine. And if we can get him picked up, that'd be pretty pretty awesome. So we'll advance a day, see if he signs with us. He probably won't, will he? Let's be honest. Let's have a look. Keep advancing a few more days. Oh, he, oh wow, we did. Nice. See, so yeah, he wasn't. I don't think he was very happy anyway. So if we go have a player meeting with him, because I mean, at this point, he should be playing at at least an eighty-six. So if we've managed to get him on that contract for a little while, we that's actually a fucking steal. I've got to be honest. That is a fucking steal. If he manages to rise back up to his usual count. So, we have no cap space left, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if we just take a look. We've got $700,000 left in cap space. I want to take a look at this roster again. So, we've dropped a 94 to a 90. But, then again, we saved enough money to sign Jeff Skinner. So, you know, that's the way it works. Got basically no money. If we look. So, centers. 
Centres, we're absolutely fine. 90, 87, 84, 81. And we've got Coolerman who could be ready for this year as well. Left wingers, 85, 84, 83, 83. Uh, and then we've got Kemper and 80, who's a RFA at the moment. Toffoli, 87, 84, 81, 80. We've got 78. Kreider might be ready this year. Who knows? Uh, I mean, might be, might not be. Defenseman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So no defenseman under 84 overall. Which is really awesome. Uh, then add for, wow, we've got a lot of bloody defensemen on this lineup. And we've got Huso as the backup. Or we could have Mazanic come up and play, I guess. Or Huso. Well, yeah, Huso's a medium backup, so we may as well play him there. Yep, okay, that's perfect. So I think we've got a solid lineup here for this year. This, I mean, I must admit, out of all the lineups we've had so far, this is the one that I feel the best about. I've said that about several of the lineups already, but. Like, this, just this lineup in general, I feel very good about this. I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. It's a good lineup. You know, like, it seems to be the sort of lineup that... I mean, last year we were looking pretty crap because we didn't have the players on the right... On the right... Uh, we didn't have enough scoring ability, I don't think. But, you know, it's interesting, you know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm... I quite like this team. I quite like the team that we've now got. We got Braun back. We didn't get Tommy Wingles, but we got Jeff Skinner. And hopefully if his morale jumps back up, he should be uh, really high up, which will be an absolute steal in free agency, considering we signed him to a multi-year contract as well. So that's good. But uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, Adrian Kemp has been tendered an offer of $1.1 million for one year by the Winnipeg Jets. You have six days to try and get the salary cap space. I did press stop the simulation, but okay, that's fine. You can You can take him then. Fine. <laughs> Hopefully some of our prospects will have grown. Uh, you do not have the cap space. Uh, based on the lower salary, you will not receive any compensation. You know, it's how it works. Sorry, Adrian Kemp, if I had the cap space, I would have re-signed you, but go and enjoy the Stanley Cup final Winnipeg Jets. It's not as if they needed any any more young players anyway, is it? Bloody hell. So we're, we're getting towards the start of the next season, which is very good because we need to... We need to have a good season. I'm calling it this year. We're going to win the Stanley Cup this year. We're going to do it. We're going to win the Stanley Cup this year. We made it to the conference finals last year. We made it to the first round the year before. The only way we can go now is the Stanley Cup final. And we've got a team that's solid here. Yeah, sure, we lost Kopitar at 94 overall for McKinnon. But at the same time, McKinnon could grow to a 92 by the start of next season anyway. Because he's, he's only 24 years old and he's a medium elite. He could keep, He could keep growing. He's got three more years of growth on him. Or two more years once we hit this year. So, whereas Kopitar was 34 years old. So, we, we've we basically dropped 10 years and only four overall points. I'm quite happy about that, you know. Like, <laughs> I'll deal with that. Uh, extra money. Thank you very much, Mr. Mister Owner of the club. It's very nice of you. Cheers. Uh, view owner goals. What are the owner goals? We are a champion. 39 sellout games this year. Win our regular season home opener. Defend home ice. Get 30, 30 home wins. Whew. More club seats. Upgrade club seats by one level. Right, so if I go to here, that's where we'll sit for now. And then we'll look at the roster, see how things are sorted out. That should be helpful. So, these are preseason games. Not really that fussed about preseason games. I'll live. So, let's have a look. I, I don't really care if we do well in preseason games or not. They're preseason. You're trying to look at what players work well. Scout forwards in the OHL for a month. Always the best place to start. Allocate budget. Let's have a look. So we're very close to the uh, to the salary cap here at the moment. Let's take some off advertising. Let's take all the stuff of advertising. Put loads on arena operations till we get like $4 million on that. And then spend the rest of it on promotions. Yeah, that's fine. Save the budget. Let's set our promotion night. So our first home game of the season isn't until the 25th of October. Let's get Nathan McKinnon bobblehead night. So let's uh, introduce our new... Our new first line centre. Uh, have the game between uh, Christmas and New Year. Uh, we want a Valentine's Day one. Okay, well, we don't really have a home game near Valentine's Day. Fair enough. Uh, then we want the last home game of the season. We want a t-shirt giveaway. Um, uh, where, where's the game against Winnipeg? I want a game against Winnipeg. There we go. A... Uh, Conference final matchup again. Uh, and then we'll have one 1st of December. Why not? Scarf giveaway. Lovely. So we'll save those promotion nights. Lovely. 
wonderful. Isn't it just wonderful, folks? So I'm hoping some of our guys have grown overall. Like, if Gauthier could grow to at least an 87, that would make our lives so much easier. Purely for the fact that we went to the conference finals, he played pretty well. So if he doesn't grow, I don't quite understand why he hasn't. Because he was playing as a second line forward. He was in the role that he was meant to be playing. So if he doesn't grow, then it's not very helpful. Had 4-1-1 one, and one in our in our preseason uh, adventures. That, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, we were top of our division in the in the uh, preseason, which is cool. Right, let's take a look at the roster moves. Let's have a look. Let's see what's going on here then. So, centres. We have McKinnon still at a 90. We have Carter at an 86. Ugh. He is now 35 years old. He's got two years left on his contract, so he can still play second line centre. Carlson, Spalling at an 81. And Kuhlman's at an 80, but he's a minor scorer, so we'll leave him down there for another year. Left wingers, we've got Fabry at an 85, Mersh, Pearson, Skinner still at an 83 though. Interesting. Uh, we've got Mistel, so uh, Skinner definitely uh, will stay there. Right wingers, Toffoli, Gauthier's at an 84, Spencer Watson's at an 82, Skivior at an 81. Kreider's at an 80, but he's a minor scorer, so we'll leave him down there another year. Defenseman, 94, 88, 86, 85. Braun's gone down to an 85, no problem. 84, 84. Uh, so... Uh, depth defenseman, you guys go. Actually, Gravel, you go as well. Lovely. Uh, in the system, they're the only decent guys we've got. Sure. And then goalies. Jonathan Quick has dropped to a 91. And we've got the two minor starters there. Okay. Right, so not the bet. Mm, I'm just trying to think about this team. I was hoping Gauthier would grow a little bit more. I uh, don't know why Gauthier's playing third line, to uh, third line time. Yeah, we want him there. You're a depth forward. Well, so are you, but... Uh, Skinner, you're not a second line forward, you're a third line scoring forward. Well, so are you. Right, Pearson goes up here. Uh, Skinner, you can play here. And uh, you shoot right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have uh, Spencer Watson there for the one-timer. You a second line forward? Hmm. Don't know, maybe. All right, let's hope that Jeff Skinner grows a little bit more. Hopefully he'll go back to his usual self. Right, so this is our lineup for the 2020-2021 season, I believe. Uh, the defence has dropped a little bit, but, well, I mean, Fourbort's got up to an 84, and McNabb's was at an 85, he's at an 84. You were at an 86, you were at an 88, weren't you, or something. So, we've got a pretty solid defensive core here still, and uh, Jonathan Quick is still at a 91 overall. He's still above 90, so um, there are some slight changes been made to the team that we had last year, but it's not too bad at all, really. Um, it could be a lot worse, I think. It could certainly be a lot worse. It could be a lot better. In fairness, but it could be a lot worse. So we've got to be salary cap compliant, which we are. Waivers are in our effect, which is fine. So, there you go. That is the 2020-2021 LA Kings. We are going to win the cup this year, though, folks. It has to be. It has to be. Our goaltending's awful, I think, because Jonathan Quick isn't playing. And once again, I'm confused as to why he's not playing. So we go demanding. That'll bring Jeff Skinner up. Perfect. So Jeff Skinner, where, where's he at? Uh, current. Jeff Skinner. He's at an 83. Okay. Because he usually plays at like an 86 at this point in his career. He's only 28 years old. He's in his prime. He's playing worse than he's ever played before. Alright, so I want to check the goaltending. I don't want Mazanic to start in net. Don't know why they keep trying to put him in net when we've got Jonathan Quick there at 91 overall. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so I am going to end this episode here then, folks. We have our squad ready for next season. Might need to make some moves. Who knows? But yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.